New signals this morning that former President Trump will stay defiant as Congress investigates the lead up to the January 6th Capitol riot, indicating he'll exert his executive privilege to avoid investigators' requests. Four key Trump administration officials ignoring a subpoena deadline from the Congressional Committee investigating the riot. NBC News confirming reports the former president directed them to disregard the demand for documents. A Trump spokesperson telling NBC those lawmakers have put forth an outrageously broad records request that lacks both legal precedent and legislative merit. Executive privilege will be defended. Now, new details on the extraordinary lengths Donald Trump went to in the days before the riot to try and undermine the 2020 election. And they're not taking this White House. We're going to fight like hell. A Senate report detailing nine times the then president pressured top Justice Department officials to overturn President Biden's legitimate victory, describing near daily outreach to the DOJ and a bombshell meeting on January 3rd. That's when, the report says, former President Trump threatened to replace the acting attorney general with a loyalist who would help Mr. Trump try to prove the election was stolen, even though it was not. But top DOJ officials warned of mass resignations if that happened. The White House counsel said he would step down, too, reportedly calling Mr. Trump's plan a murder-suicide pact. The then president backed down, the report says. We were a half step away from a full-blown constitutional crisis. Those details, based on documents and interviews conducted by the Senate Judiciary Committee in a report titled Subverting Justice, describing Mr. Trump's conduct as relentless. But Republicans on that committee say his actions were consistent with his responsibilities as president to faithfully execute the law, arguing he did not weaponize DOJ for his personal or campaign purposes. One top Republican pointing out, in the end, Mr. Trump did not ultimately replace his acting attorney general. The president did the right thing. If he had made another decision, you would have had a problem. As for that January 6th select committee, they've also just issued a new round of subpoenas requesting information from the organizers of a pro-Trump rally at the Capitol that day. Craig? Our senior Washington correspondent, Hallie Jackson, for us. Hallie, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.